As you've come to the end of this cost of borrowing money assignment, once again, I have asked you to create a chart. And that chart, when you're finished, should look something like this, where you are creating a line graph comparing principal and interest over the term of the loan. So as you'll notice, we've got our principal, which you learned is the amount you're paying towards the $50,000. And then interest is what the bank charges you to borrow that money. So if we navigate over to our, our Google Sheets document, here's the finished chart, but we're going to work backwards again. So I'm going to delete the chart. And then I am going to work to complete that again. So the easiest thing to do, I think, is just work left to right on, on your chart. You'll see one of the things that I had at the bottom of my chart was the payment schedule, which is those numbers, <coughs> excuse me, which is the numbers 1 to 36 here on the left-hand side. So I'm just going to highlight those, 1 through 36. And I'm going to click on the Insert Chart button here. And you'll see that D4 to D40 is already selected. I don't want to pay attention to this yet because I'm not ready to select or create my chart. First, going to add in my ranges. And this is a bit more of an organized way to do this. I'm going to move this over to the side after I clicked on that little grid. And I'm going to scroll up on my spreadsheet and I'm going to add another range. So I'm going to click right here. And then I know that I need to add the principal column. Now notice how I included the title of that column and we'll just scroll all the way down. And I have now added F4 to F40. Then I'm going to add one more range. And I know that I not only wanted to include the principal, I also want to include the interest. I'm doing the same thing that I would have done before when you had to put commas in between your ranges. But this just, I think, makes it a little bit easier to add and to see. I'm going to click OK. So now I've got all of my ranges in there. I'm going to click on a line chart. And I would like my line chart to look like this. So I'm now seeing a line chart here, but I have one too many lines. From what it's reading in terms of amount and from doing this assignment before, I know that this is my principal, this is my interest, and I also know that this right here is the payment schedule because it goes up to 36. Well, That's not really how I want my chart to look, so I'm going to have to go back to the start menu and edit this a little bit. First off, I know that I'm going to want to use row 4 as headers. So it has now changed this um, to uh, label these two. I want to get rid of this. So I'm going to tell it to use column D as labels. It will automatically ask you if you want to add the first range as labels. That's why I added that one first. And I'm going to click there. So it did it. It added those as my labels right down here. So I've got a chart that is on its way to being good and complete. The next thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to customize it just a little bit to add a chart title. And I'm just going to call this Principal versus Interest. And I see a couple other things that I don't really like. So there's my principal versus interest title going up there. And I like to make the title a little bit bigger than it defaults to here. And you can change the, the font if you'd like to. I'm going to leave the font there. And then I'm just going to change my background a little bit. I'm going to leave these all unchecked. 
But then I do notice that my horizontal axis could be titled. And since it might be unclear what these numbers refer to, I'm just going to call that. Oops. I'm going to type that in the title section right down here. I'm going to call that payment schedule because that's what those numbers represent. They represent the number of the part of a particular payment. So if I press enter, it would replace that default with payment schedule. And there are some other options as I move down. However, I think this looks just fine the way it is. So I'm not going to spend time editing this just for the sake of editing it. It looks like it displays the information I'd like in a neat, presentable fashion. And so I'm going to click on insert. And I'll see that it sets it there right in the middle of my chart. And I would rather move this to its own sheet. I like that option. And I'm going to rename this to principal versus interest chart. Press enter. And now I have two sheets. I have my chart that once again showed me that to borrow $50,000 at 10% interest, paying it back over a three year period, cost me $8,000. It's a lot of money to borrow money and to pay it back. So if you have any questions about any of that, feel free to watch those sections over again. And if after you've watched those sections over again, you still have questions, uh, then please feel free to ask.